crowd up on their feet. Sell out crowd here tonight. Rice Eccles Stadium. Try to hit the edge with Brandon Cooks. Utah strings it out. And a loss is one of the keys for Utah tonight. Yeah, you know, I'm really surprised. Utah, over the last couple games, had come out and played man coverage from the start. Get up in the receiver's face, get up in the tight end's face, free up a free safety to come down and, and, and make plays. And they're doing the same thing tonight. It, it really shows a lot. Eastern Washington came back strong second half against Hawaii. Long ball, man, and under pressure throws. Found an opening. Off the 45-yard line, Cook so dangerous after the catch. Those calls right at the line of scrimmage, a great job of recognizing what Oregon State needs to do. Eighth play of this drive, beautiful play action. Down the middle of the field, on target, inside the 10 is Brandon Cooks. Eventually, great players just get free. And as long as you play that press man aggressive coverage, you're going to make some plays like Utah did just a minute ago with McGill, but eventually you're going to give something up big like Brandon Cooks just took. Nice protection. Nice job of, of recognizing the coverage. And look at this release. Just slips right inside and runs right by the defender. This, I, I'm telling you what, if you don't know about Brandon Cooks, and you may not because he's been overshadowed a little bit by Marcus Wheat in the last couple years, he is truly one of the one of the great receivers in college football right now. He was able to beat McGill. Utah swarming yeah. under Cooks interception of the season. And Oregon State with the ball at the 45. Mannion throws that ball in the scene. And racing is Brandon Cooks. Touchdown! He ran it, tight roped it down the sideline, and bang, bang. Down that sideline. Well, yeah, right now they're trying to decide whether or not he stayed in bounds. But watch this. Playing off of the aggressiveness, you knew Utah was going to come out and try and create, take that momentum back. Great play call by the Oregon State Beavers using their aggressiveness against him. Watch his feet. Watch his feet. Does he go out of bounds here? Left foot inbounds, right foot inbounds. On fourth and inches. Flea flicker. Cooks on a trick play by Mike Riley. They're going to be running the ball strong with Storm Woods. Instead, he stops, throws it back for the double pass. Mike Riley is Houdini. He calls this play and is to perfection. You see Cooks on the ISO break alone downfield. Pressure, Craig. No safety deep for Utah. From the edge, Mannion puts a slider. Cooks. Give the rest room to run. Second down long. Another flea flicker coming around the edge. Cooks. Tackled 50 yard line. This time Utah. Mannion. Up top. Touchdown. Brandon Cooks. Wow. Well, the emotions have shifted back and forth as Cooks has put together an eight-catch, 204-yard game tonight. He has the whole outside of the field to work with. He, look, he's run by the, the, the corner, but instead he comes back and adjusts to that ball. That That is just... You can't coach that. You can't coach that, those instincts, the ability to stop on a dime and turn back and then go low and make the catch. Brandon had him beat off the line of scrimmage and Sean threw the ball to the outside, knowing it was the only place, or it was the place where Brandon and only Brandon could make the catch, but he still made a tough catch. The lead in overtime, Cummings, Mullaney, and Cooks. The wide receivers, Mannion up top, ball in the hands. Touchdown, Cooks, and Oregon State wins it in overtime. Right here. There you go. Oh, here we go. Try it again. Right there, off the fingertips of number 15. Michael Walker right there. there. Through the hands and a great grab pulled in by Cooks. And that's the win in overtime.